want your audience on its feet? Uh, 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 uh. I said, do you want your audience on its feet? Turn average meetings into events to remember. What, what, what? Ron Pearson is one of the few entertainers working corporate events today who has truly done it all. He's made hundreds of television appearances. Please welcome the very funny Ron Pearson, everybody. Ron Pearson. And he's a very funny comedian, actor, and the only member of the panel who is also a world champion juggler, Ronnie Pearson. <laughs> Ronnie. Ron spent years on sitcoms, including The George Lopez Show, The Drew Carey Show, That 70s Show, and many more. Okay, I love you too, but let it go. Ron Pearson is considered the top audience warm-up comedian in Hollywood. I knew I'm kidding! He's made over 1,500 appearances, including, according to Jim, Two and a Half Men, The Tony Danza Show, America's Funniest Home Videos, Star Search, Will and Grace, and Mad About You, among others. Bob Newhart and Judd Hirsch credit one man with helping make their sitcom, George and Leo, even funnier. Ron's Keeping It Clean brand of humor has earned him three Telly Awards for his latest stand-up comedy special. And he was recently nominated Corporate Comedian of the Year. All right! You were from where? Arkansas. Yeah, that's another country. <laughs> I'd like to thank the Arkansas public school system. Hold on one second, one second. Hey! I found you a friend! Oh, she just said, I'm his boss! My wife's name is Tanya Turner, and she's from Tyler, Texas, and her brother is Todd Turner, so it's Tanya and Todd Turner from Tyler, Texas. <laughs> and so she is from East Texas, so she doesn't have an accent. <laughs> she doesn't. She has an accent. <laughs> oh, it is thick. I kid you not. I walk on cement, she walks on cement. I drive a car, she drives a vehicle. <laughs> She was a big fan of this singer. I couldn't figure out who it was. Kid you not, turned out to be Clay Aiken. She makes it one word, Clay Aiken. Ron will even tailor his act to your specific company. They asked me to do this show. They said, Ron, would you go down and work for Hilton? And uh, I said, ah, they're good people. I said, how much? They said 20,000. I said, I'll be there. <laughs> and I got here and I realized they meant honors points. Get a free night at the Hampton Inn. Does anybody at all have some Zomic? Oh my gosh, my head hurts. Zomic's a product. For those of you that slept through the last couple of days, and I know some of you did, you big freaks. Tell them I'm there, man. Tell them I'm there. I'm staying out till four in the morning. Tell him I'm there. Did you see Bob? Bob is here. No, not Bob from Nebraska. Bob from Denver. Bob Denver's here. These people are partiers. They're movers. They go, 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 go. You're a little slow. You must be from Glaxo. Welcome. Put your hands together, everybody, for Ron Pearson. Ron can do anything from hosting a corporate game show. Or for the more serious minded, he can inject the right level of humor for those important meetings where information is vital. Fantastic. So I think our big question here is uh, you guys actually uh, got yourself into an account that was kind of maybe tricky to get. Uh, Siemens was considered a singular shop. What changed? How did you get them to open up and say where their problems were so that you could come in instantly and fill those problems so quickly and show them that they didn't have them? Where are you guys from? Houston, South. Houston, mm -hmm. where half of New Orleans currently lives. <laughs> so that is perfect. I love Houston, and my wife is from Tyler that I said last night. I'm just hearing three things over and over and over. Teaming, relationship, 
and then getting somehow listening enough to hear the problems and instantly bringing a solution with no time to it. Carol, you want to add anything to that? And if all you want is pure entertainment, Ron delivers. <laughs> Here we go. Go on. <laughs> I can whiz on your boat from here, okay? <laughs> Going up and over, up and over. Here we go, up and over. <laughs> Don't let go of the bike! <laughs> hey, let's play Bulldog. Hey, let's play Sharpe. Is that the devil there, John? There we go, gentlemen. Now scoot the seat back gently, underneath me, gently, gently, gently. Scoot it back there. What are you looking at, Dave? <laughs> go move your feet, but don't let go of me up here because I'm not real good at this, okay? <laughs> Count of three, ready? One, two, three, let go, let go. Hold me up, hold me up, hold me up, hold me up, hold me up. Hold me up. You guys suck, don't touch me there, man. <laughs> Start one of those on the outside. Start. Start. A little higher is my mouth. It's my higher, my, at the other end, sweetheart. Not of me. It's like trying to take communion from a dyslexic priest. Great, I was just wondering what in the heck I have to do to get you to clap. I just put a chair on my face. Some people are happy with a chair, aren't they?